Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we shall look at an extremely interesting enhancement to our snake game where we will build feature to give snake, uh, to sort of add many, many snake body clones at once and also to even delete them. Now, recall that in our, our class game, we had this apple sprite. Whenever the snake head moving around ate this apple, the snake tail increased by exactly one, right? And of course, you got one point for that, right? Uh, but that need not be the case. You can have a situation where the snake tail increases by maybe two or three. And also, more interestingly, you can have another fruit, probably an orange, where once the snake eats that orange, its tail, instead of increasing, actually gets reduced. So it gets cut. Now, it turns out that, in fact, adding more than one clones is relatively easier. So I'll look at it today, but, you know, uh, kind of a little bit fast. But we will spend more time on how we delete these clones because that's where, uh, you know, the entire game comes together, uh, why we have used local variables, uh, and so on. So a so lot of concepts are involved, um, and, and we'll look at that, right? However, let's get started. So here I've got a game, let's see, right? So I've got this uh, apple sprite, wherever I eat it, instead of one, uh, you know, one tail getting added, I notice I'm getting two tails that are getting added to this, right? So question is, how did I do that? Well, it's really not that hard. All I've done on the apple code is that instead of, you know, just having once to change score by one and broadcast eaten, I've put that in a loop, repeat two, right? So this part is happening twice. Uh, I'm, I'm increasing the score two times. I am sending broadcast two times and each time one tail gets attached, right? It's just that it happens so fast that it looks like it's happening all together, right? Now, if you wanted to do, let's say more, uh, you know, um, wanted to add more uh, tails to every apple eaten, you could say repeat three, repeat four, whatever you want, right? So, so this part is really not that hard, right? The trickier bit comes with this orange, right? Now, in this game, notice that when I'm playing, uh, you know, eating an apple adds two tails for me. That's all right. Uh, we just looked at that. So now two has become four. Four is going to become six, right? The moment I go and eat an orange, I think I just ended up eating too many oranges here. So let's do it again, right? The moment I go and eat an orange, notice my tail gets shortened by three, right? So six became three and now three has become zero, right? So again, let's build this again. So two becoming four, becoming six. Let's build it up, becoming eight. Uh, becoming 10 but if I eat an orange 10 became 7 now 7 will become 4 right so now the question is how did I do this and what goes on behind the scene how does it even work right uh, the first thing I want to highlight is that it's this is not just a matter of deleting this clone right now you might wonder you might think that all I have to do is to say broadcast eat an orange which is when hap what happens when orange touches the snake head I say broadcast eaten orange and I just go in the snake body clone. I just go and say when I receive eaten orange, say I put delete this clone right now. This is not going to work because remember whenever uh, broadcasting and cloning combine. So this broadcast message will be received by every clone out there. And hence basically what you will see happening is that all the tails will get deleted, right? So notice I've got two tails. I've got four tails now. Right, I'll get six tails if I just go and eat orange. Suddenly, all of them have got removed. Right, so so this is not the right way. But then, what is the right way? Right, that's what we are going to talk about. We will figure out exactly which clones to delete, uh, and how do we do that? Right. Now, before I get there, right, I just want to make a an observation which actually is there as part, which has been said before. But I just want to highlight this more clearly here. Uh, sort of reiterate this point is that every clone that you are creating has got a unique id right now now where does this come from right remember in the scratch project that we built uh, there is something called snake clone id which was a variable only for this sprite right now the moment we do that it means that every clone is maintaining its own copy of this variable called snake clone id right so let's go back to this animation uh, basically when the game starts let's say i eat an apple here I set the snake clone ID to score plus one, right? So which means that this, if the score is one, then the ID that is created is basically two, right? Now, uh, in so this blue box represents a clone and the white text in between represents the ID, right? Say I move forward, I eat one more apple. Uh, I So I'm assuming that apple gives one point here, like in the class. Uh, 
is the same logic it will work even if apple gives more points but let's say here one point score became two clone got created its id was three right similarly when the score was three the id was four right now this is actually the the most important point to understand how we are going to delete this clause right that each clone has got a unique id right so now i think once this understanding is clear in fact things start to just fall in place let's say my score presently is seven right and i want to remove one clone from this right so so all i have to do really is to figure out which clone has got id of seven because score is six so i'm going to delete this last clone and let others be right so what i'm going to do really is that i'm going to find out all the clones whose id is more than the score itself right now this may sound a little bit confusing but let's just see this ourselves uh, and and like i said from the example it's pretty clear so let's say i go and you know uh, sorry i i go and i go to the snake body clone uh, snake body sprite and over here i put a condition that you know so this condition looks a little complicated but let's just duplicate this I, i'll come to how that is being reached say i say you know score plus one minus one now let this be as it is basically if i want to delete one clone i'm going to set one here so all i'm saying really is that if snake clone id is greater than score right which means that if the score is say five then i go and remove all clones whose id is more than five uh, in this case it will be say a clone number clone whose id is six right so i'm going to remove one clone and also i'm going to set my score back to by minus one right so if i did this now my snake will you know will basically notice this guy's id okay so i'm still creating two so let's just fix this as well so let's say repeat one uh so apple gives me exactly one point right so this guy's id is two this guy's id is three right and score is two this guy's id is four this guy's id is five now if i go and eat an apple the the clone whose id was five got removed right and that's how the uh the the last uh you know the last clone was basically removed from here so let's see this once again let's go to the score of six so that matches with the illustration that i gave so here uh you know i go eat one i go eat another one i go eat another one i go eat another one let's go to the score of six so now right remember these clones have ids given by two three four five six and seven all i'm going to do when i eat go to the orange is that i'm going to remove the clone whose id is more than six which is id seven and that is the last clone and at the same time i go and reduce the score by minus one right so if i did that uh, you know what will happen is that over here if i come back to this right so all i'm doing to remove one clone is to just remove this clone whose id is equal to 7 and i do that by that condition score uh, you know the score id is greater than score plus 1 minus 1 i mean this looks a bit complicated but it's really just that take a numerical example convince yourself do it for just one clone before you venture into deleting multiple clones right importantly i also go and set the score back to 5 because remember if i have removed clone with id 7 uh, next time when the apple is eaten i should recreate this and what will happen really is that score will become six when the apple is eaten and hence the clone seven will get recreated once the apple is eaten right so so this whole thing will work uh, just to push this a little bit further right if i want to delete say two clones right the logic is still the same in this example i will say i will delete clone number seven and clone number six because these are the end of the tail to do this i have to really you know, uh, so I'll delete ID six and seven, and I'll also set the score back to four. Uh, so which means in general, I could delete n clones, n could be one, two, three, and so on and so forth, and I will delete all clones whose ID is more than score plus one minus n. Right now, uh, if you are getting confused with this formula, just put values for n. So for example, if n is equal to one, which we just saw, uh, you know, it deleted one clone. Now let's say I go back to my game and I refix this to give me. Uh, you know if i let's say refix this to give me a deletion of three clones so what do i have to do i'll go and check sorry I'll, in the snake body clone i'll go and say if snake clone id is score plus one 
minus 3, right? Again, I've given some comments here to explain this, the same logic. Uh, but all I have to do is say minus 3, I'll delete that clone. Also, if, you know, uh, when I do this, I must set the score back to minus 3, right? So now my, uh, you know, my apple will give me one point, but well, orange will take away three points, right? Now, the last but the probably the most important and somewhat tricky point of this whole thing is that at any given point, my score should not become less than zero. Remember, I'm going score, uh, you know, I'm reducing score by three. Uh, let's say right now I've got only two clones in there, but how do I take away three, right? So I'll take away both of these, but I will set the score back to zero. So if I change score by minus three, score will become negative. If I did that, my entire list indexing, everything will go off, you know. So I just bring it back as though the game has just started. I set the score back to zero. And this is the last point I want to make that, you know, uh, set the score back to zero. Very important caution. Score should never become less than zero, right? So if it becomes less than zero, the list will no longer work with us. Uh, and you can think about this. It, it kind of falls in place, right? So I hope this made it clear. My strong recommendation is try deleting just one clone in the beginning. Use your own logic. Uh, use the clone ID effectively. Thereafter, you can try, re uh, re you know, re uh, removing say two clones or three clones, and it will be a lot more clear. All right, take care. Thank you very much. Bye bye.